and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am so excited to be introducing these brand new little mini notebooks. I love them so much, one, because they're so cute, and two, because of a little poem that's on the back of the packaging. And that poem says, these notebooks come in packs of two, one for me and one for you. The idea behind these notebooks is spreading random acts of kindness. So you can keep one notebook for yourself and it's going to make you smile and be happy every time you see it and use it. And then you can give one to a friend. I love the idea of making it totally random. So you could give it even to a coworker or maybe a teacher at your kid's school. I even love the idea of randomly surprising a stranger. Like you could put one of these in someone's mailbox or even put it in someone's car in a parking lot. It would absolutely make them smile and I love the idea idea of spreading kindness in this way. So first up, we're going to take a look at the Fall Fling notebooks. So there are two notebooks with two colored covers, and the insides are different on both of these notebooks too. So we're going to take a look at this one first, and on the inside there are these adorable little acorns. Oh my goodness, they just make me smile. The little winking acorn is just hilarious. And here's a look at the acorns that are on the right side of the notebook. And so when you flip through the book, you'll see that all of the pages have those cute little acorns and then the dotted lines so that you can write down notes or messages. I've already been using mine a ton. It's a great place to put your grocery list to. Now in the other notebook, we have it decorated there. That's the uh, Shari paper there. And on the bottom of this one, we have these cute little fall flowers lining the entire bottom and then some nice lines at the top for you to write your notes in. And these are just so cute. And as you flip through the book, you can see that each of the pages have all of those cute little flowers in them. And here is a comparison between the insides of the two different fall fling notebooks. So next we're gonna take a look at the Snow Day Remix Notebook. So we're gonna take off that little belly band there and you'll see that there's two notebooks in the pack, one with those adorable bunnies and one with the music notes. On the inside of the bunnies one, you can see that there's these super cute forest trees. There's snow falling across the lines where you can write your notes or your lists on. And I think that's such a cute look. And you'll see as you flip through the pages that those forest trees just kind of keep going along the whole bottom, which is so adorable. Now on the inside of our music notes one, we have these super cute little singing birds, which go along so well with that music paper on the front. I think they are just so cute and I love those little dotted lines for writing notes, lists, and messages. And then here is a comparison between the insides of the two Snow Day notebooks. These notebooks are perfect to give as little gifts or little surprises just as they are. But of course, I love to stamp and decorate and play with paper. So I thought it'd be fun to show two different ways to decorate these and personalize these as cute little gifts. These notebooks coordinate with our Fall Fling papers and our Snow Day Remix papers. So that makes them really easy to decorate. So we're gonna trim down some of that Fall Fling paper and we're gonna do it to about one and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. For this one, we're gonna personalize it with my mom's name. And I'm gonna be using Quinn's ABCs, which is an oldie but a goodie. It's one of my favorite fonts. And this comes with some coordinating dies. And the way Quinn's ABCs works is you die cut the dies and then you stamp on the die cut images. So there I've got out my letters for Gloria and I'm using the brand new Crunchy Leaf ink, which is an alcohol marker friendly ink in a brown color, which I thought would look really nice with this kind of fall themed notebook. So I'll go ahead and finish up all my letters. Is anybody singing the Gloria song right now, right? G-L-O-R-I-A. So I'll stamp out all my letters and then add some quick color with my Copic markers. So I'm gonna be using some oranges here to go along with the orange theme of my notebook. Now you'll see right here, I was having trouble seeing. I had to bring out the reading glasses and it's amazing. Now I can actually see and start to color. <laughs> so I've laid down my lightest marker because I like to wet my paper first. I feel like it makes it easier to blend my colors. Then I've laid down my darkest towards the bottom. I'm blending out with my medium going up towards the top and then I'll switch to my lightest marker to blend out at the very end. This is gonna create a really cool kind of gradient ombre effect that I think is really, really pretty and just reminds me of the warmth of fall. Then we'll repeat the same thing across all of the letters, going from dark to medium to light to create this really cool gradient effect. And I love how the letters are just starting to pop. They're looking so gorgeous. 
Next, we're gonna lay out our letters onto the pattern paper. When it comes to alphabets, I always like to lay out my letters in order, kind of have them nice and centered, and then add my adhesive starting in the center and moving my way out, and that keeps everything nice and aligned on my pattern paper. Then I can add some tape runner to the back of that and just layer that right onto the front of the notebook. This was super quick and easy to do, and it really gives this beautiful personalized nature to the notebook that I think anybody would love to get. It's perfect to throw in a purse and write down little notes or things you need to remember. Now I thought it would be fun to decorate one of the more Christmassy looking ones, and we've got the cute little music notes on this one. We're gonna trim down some snow day paper and then take out Finley's ABC's dies. I love these dies. And I've gone ahead and die cut them out of some white cardstock to go along with the white color of the notebook. As I start to lay my letters onto that beautiful snow day paper, I thought it needed an extra little pop. So I'm gonna take out the six by six pad and pick out one of the red colors. Then we'll trim down that red piece to three and a half by two inches, and we'll trim down that blue green piece down to one and three quarter inches high. Then we can layer those onto each other and it's gonna have this nice pop of color around the edges. So we'll add some tape runner to the kind of snowy green piece and then layer that right onto our red. Then we can start to add our letters on. And so I love the, the kind of joke of it saying notes and then there's music notes on it. I don't know why, but I thought that was really cute and funny. So I laid them all down like we did the Gloria letters and then we're adding adhesive starting in the center and working our way out to layer those on perfectly. This time to make sure it's nice and sturdy, I'm gonna use some of that quarter inch double-sided tape, lay that on my whole pattern paper piece and then attach that to my notebook. This one was even quicker and easier to make and I love how cute it turned out. It's so adorable and so much fun. I just can't wait to give these to people. So here is a look back at all of our notebooks, our two decorated ones and the ones that we left plain. I'm so excited to surprise people with these. The Gloria one, I'm gonna be sending to my mom and the one that says notes, I think I'm just gonna put it in some random person's mailbox and just make them smile. I might even write a little you are super awesome message inside just to make sure that they have a really great day. So I would love to hear what you guys think about these cute little mini notebooks. I'd also love to hear who you would randomly surprise first. So make sure to share it in the comments below. If you'd like to see some more videos, you can go ahead and click here. You can also click to subscribe to our channel and click to learn more over at lawnfawn.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.